everybody, this is Mr. Hot Sauce from Titanium Mayhem. And today, me and Dr. Blue Cheese are going to be playing a game called Munchkin. And there are too many rules for me to remember and explain, so Dr. Blue Cheese? I think it's better for us to just play and people will catch on. This is one of those turn-based card games that are loosely set in a sort of Dungeons and Dragons type motif. Uh, this is sort of a satirical comedy game. A lot of the cards have funny you things have, have funny things on them. Yeah. Um, yeah. So to start off, I'm going to be the orange character. So I'm starting off as a lady, and uh, Mr. Hot Sauce is the yellow character. He's starting out as a as a boy. Uh, and looks like based on the cards that we were dealt to start off the game, I am a wizard, and I've got some extra tools that give me extra fighting powers. I've got a Singing and Dancing Sword. You always get that. I've got don't you? the Spiky Knees, which is plus one. And I've got the Sandals of Protection, which prevent me from being cursed by curses that come out of this deck. Uh, Mr. Hot Sauce can still curse me, but uh, not these cards. Um, and what, what do you have, Mr. Hot Sauce? Um, so I have um, the Half Breed, where I can have two races. And my race is a dwarf. Okay, so you're a half-breed dwarf, so right now that means you're half-dwarf, half-human, so you get all the advantages of being a dwarf and none of the disadvantages. Uh, and what else you have? You have slimy armor, that's a plus one bonus. Mm -hmm. um, You've got the a... sneaky sword, mm -hmm. which is plus two. And, uh, ooh, the broadsword, usable by females only, it's a plus oh. three, so you can't use that because you're male right now. So, so you turn it sideways. But I can yeah. trade it. But you could Thank trade you. it, yep, you could trade it. Or trade it in for that. All right, so uh, you want to go first? Uh, yeah, sure. All right, so why don't you uh, knock on the door, which means taking the card. All right, so a warrior. It's a class. Okay, so you got a warrior class card. Okay. Yeah, so this is race and this is class. So you are a half-human, half-dwarf warrior. Okay, mm -hmm. what, what special powers does the warrior have? Berserking. You may discard up to three cards in combat. Each one gives you a plus one bonus. Okay, so you can give yourself a, a bonus in combat by, just by discarding cards from your hand. Okay? Yeah. All right, since you didn't get a monster, do you want to look for trouble, which means fighting a monster from your own deck if you have one? Or, uh, I think this one would love what be. Do you want to fight that monster, or is it too high? I don't know, it's a level 8. Alright, so then, if you can't beat him... So uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Yeah, so six, what, what seven, level are you right now? You're level 1, plus 1, plus 2, so plus 3. So you're level 4 fighting power right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't have that one. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do that. Okay, so you can loot the room, which means taking a second card. Elf. Race. Plus one to run away. You go up a level every monster you help someone kill. Alright, so that's the second race card that Mr. Hot Sauce has, the elf card. So, um, so now he's half elf, half dwarf, half So I'm basically a, um, a fat elf. Okay, but you, you have the powers of both and the disadvantages of both. I thought they just said you could take away both advantages and just have the advantages. That's if you only use one of the races. So oh. if you want to be half elf, half human, you can get rid of the deactivate the dwarf part. But um, I don't know. They both seem pretty good. All right. So then you get take all their powers and disadvantages. All right. My turn. I will draw a card. Curse. Oh no. Oh wait. Wait. The curse. What? Um. This says I can have one more card in my hand. This right. doesn't count, right? No, it because doesn't count because it's, it's not active. I'll just put that. Sorry. Okay. Curse! I got a curse card that says, lose your footwear. So normally I would lose my footwear. However, the footwear that I have <laughs> says that the curses from here don't work. So, <laughs> try again another day then. You might want to put it this way so they can sure. still see it. Sure. Uh, so now I don't have any monsters that I can fight myself, so I will take a second card. I will loot the room. And I have a new card. Okay, your turn. So let's see. Level 4. Un... Undead horse. Five against dwarves. Plus mm. five against dwarves. Ah, so it's oh. so it's actually let's see, it's a level, it's a level four. Nine. 
Yeah, it's level. It's, it's normally a level four. Uh, and I villain, can't be an elf human, can I? No, it's too late. Not for the, once you're in the middle of the combat, you can't change. So because you are a half dwarf and you, and you have the disadvantages, but I have this race plus five warrior race. So this guy counts as a level nine monster. What are you now? You are at level four. Mm -hmm. And you know what this calls for? What? Run away! Okay, uh, but can you use your warrior to... I don't want to get rid of anything. Okay. How do you run away again? If you don't think you can beat the monster, you can try rolling the uh, the die. And if you get a five or a six, you're able to flee from the monster. Four, five, or six. Oh, why? Because you're an elf? Yeah. Alright, if, if, so if you get a four, five, or six. Oh, uh, a two! Uh, what happens if you lose? It tells you right here. If you lose, bad stuff. Um... He kicks, bites, and smells, this horse does. Lose two levels. But you're already at level one, so you can't go down anymore. No, so it doesn't matter. There you go. All right, <laughs> so it doesn't really matter anyway. My turn. Uh, okay, oh, a level 12 wannabe vampire is the monster that I got. A level 12 wannabe vampire. Instead of fighting, a cleric can chase the wannabe vampire away just by, just by going booga booga and take all of his treasure. There is no level increase for doing that. Uh, but I'm not a cleric, I'm a wizard. Uh, and he, the bad stuff, he blocks the door and tells you about his character. Uh, about his, uh, lose three levels. Oh, okay, well, but if I win, I get three treasures. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try, let's see where I am. I'm level one, plus one is two, plus two is four. So I have four fighting power, so I, you know, I can't beat a level 12 guy right just now. But... I can try to use my wizard's charm spell, which will allow me to discard my whole hand, at least three cards, to charm a single monster instead of fighting it. I will discard the monster and take its treasure, but I don't go up in levels. So I think I will do that. I'm going to discard my entire hand. Get your hands back. What's that? That's your hand. No, no, this is my hand. These are, the, these are my items that I've equipped for myself. These, this ah. is my hand, the ones I'm holding. So oh. I discard my entire hand. Uh, it goes like this, and like this, and I will take his three treasures. One, two, three. Who's at the level fourteen? But I don't go up a level. Oh. He was in my hand. Oh. All right. Uh, so it's your turn now. My turn. Okay. Play that. Let's see. Curse. Lose a level. No, oh, you can't go down a level. I can't so. lose a level anyway. Uh, and let's see. Uh, okay. So when did you get a sleep potion? That was one of my initial cards. Oh. Okay, so it's my turn. I will knock on the door. Curse! Change race. It causes you to change race. If you have no, uh, but however, the curse doesn't work on me because of my sandals of protection. So anyway, you don't have a race. If you, it says if you have no race. If you have no race now, this curse has no effect. Otherwise, go back to the discard pile and starting from the top, find the first race card and that will replace your existing race. You understand how that works? No. You would have lost if you got this curse, mm -hmm. you would have lost your race cards and you would have had to go into this pile to find another race card. Yeah. Okay. Uh, since that was not a monster, I can loot the room and I got this guy. Okay. Um, my turn? Yes. Hi. See, I have a thief. It is a class. So... Alright, well you, because you have the half-breed card, you can have two races, and because you have mm -hmm. the Super Munchkin card, you can have two classes. Mm -hmm. So you are now a, an Elven Dwarf Warrior Thief. <laughs> okay. Wait, so... Well, what are the special powers of the, of the thief? Backstabbing. You may discard a card to backstab another player. Minus two in combat. You may do this only once per victim. Per combat. Per victim. Per, per combat. combat. Yeah. But if two players are fighting a monster together, you may backstab each of them. Mm hmm. Okay. Thief. You may discard a card to try to steal a small item carried in another player. In another player. 
Okay, buy an input. How do you do that? By discarding one of my cards. Oh. Um, roll a die for or more second. Otherwise, you get a left and lose a level. So you can try to. Oh, so. What was that? That was my. If you try to. If you try to. Uh, if you try to steal something, a small item from me, you would discard a card and then you have to roll the die. If you get four or higher, you succeed in stealing it. If you get lower than four, then you lose a level. Okay. Um, we should add that this is meant to be a game for at least three people. We're playing it with only two, so the game mechanics might be a little bit different, but mm -hmm. we'll see how it goes. Okay. So, uh, we did it to work. that Somehow. was your first draw? That was your first card you drew? Yes. No, no, that was your second because what? you the change race curse, right? Or was that? That was you. That was me. Okay, so, so you get to loot the room now. Dwarf. Yeah. Ah, second one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do you want to just keep that in your hand or do you want to discard it? Wait, maybe Trade it here for something. You want to trade it? You give me that? Mm -hmm. what, are the, what are the powers of the dwarf? You can have six cards in your hand. Instead of five? Okay. Uh, what do you want for it? I want those boots. No. No deal. The sword? No deal. I'm going. What's in your hand? No deal. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sharing it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay, so I got another curse. Lose one big item, but it has no effect on me because of my trusty sandals. And you have no big items. And I have no big items. Okay. And I get to loot the room. Okay. Boy, we have not fought any monsters, and we haven't... Okay, another... What is that? This is a curse. Lose one... Okay. Oh, but I get to keep on this. Okay. Oh, yeah. My turn. Yep. Curse. Lose two cards. First play... First the player to the victim's left draws a card from the victim's hand and keeps it. Then the player on the right does the same. Well, That's what the problem us. is. Yep, there's only one of us. So you want me to, your curse, so I take a card from you? Yeah. All right. No, no, from your hand. Ah. Right. Okay. What was that? Okay. Now I'm not going to say. My turn. What oh, was that it? wasn't a monster, so you get to loot the room again, right? Huh? So this is your card? Oh, yeah. Level 10, Floating Nose. Okay, my turn. Now I get the monster. Here we go. Ah, another curse! The Maligned Mirror. But what would, what would have happened if I didn't have my trusty sandals? Uh, sandals in the next fight only, have. you may not get any bonuses from items other than from armor. A wishing ring used before the next fight will lift the curse. Okay. D does that count as armor, that big hat that you have? Uh, no, it just says headgear. Okay. Go ahead. Your turn. A level 20. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Now I have six cards in my hand and I can only have five, so I need to get rid of something. You should have taken the dwarf. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this one. Go ahead. That was going to get plus five to a monster. What'd you Let's get? See, so I have... The... I'm not even going to try to pronounce Level that. Level 10 dragon? dragon? 20. Level 20. I guess you're going to have to run well, away from that. Will not pursue anyone level 5 or below. Oh, well, you're below 5. So Bad you stuff. You are roasted and eaten. You are dead. Alright, well, he's not pursuing you, so. What um, happens if you were dead? Uh, then um, the other players get to take all your cards. And you go back to the my but turn. you're not out. No, I don't think so. So what do I do with this? Uh, just put it back in the discard pile. Another it. curse! Do I, I get to loot the room now? No. Oh. Um, okay, well another curse. I would have lost the item that gave me the biggest bonus from the truly obnoxious curse, but again, it doesn't affect me. Okay. Take another card? 
Instead of taking another card, I am finally going to look for trouble. I'm going to play a monster card that I have. The level six lawyer. Level six lawyers. See that lawyer's card? It will not attack a thief due to professional courtesy. A thief and again. Uh, let's Wait, see. Wait, why won't they attack the thief? It's supposed to be a joke. It's saying that lawyers are thieves. That's what they're saying. It's supposed to be a joke. Um, okay, so can I beat this level six? No, no, I'm at level one. Plus one is two. Plus two more is four. Plus one more is five. So I'm below six, but I can um, I can use this That's potion. Of, I can play the potion of idiotic bravery to give plus two to my side. So I'm What's I'm that? now at level seven versus level What's six. That plus three for elves. So I'm now at level seven versus a level six monster. So unless you were to intervene and help the monster, I'm going to beat him. Oh, you took my balloons. Mm. You took my balloons. All right, well, I beat him. So I go up a level, and I get two treasures. One. Lighter? Yes. And fill it. What? You. Paul. Oh. Whatever. You may sell one item each turn for double price. Other items are. At normal price. What is it? Is it a class card? You want me to? It's a race. It's a race. The ha oh, the halfling. It's kind of like a, a hobbit. Yeah. Uh, you may sell one item each turn for double the price. Okay. Uh, if you fail in your initial runaway roll, you can discard a card and try again. Okay. Do you want to activate that as one of your races? No. Okay. What if I get two half breeds? You, know, you can only have one. Oh, All right. You. Um. Yeah, I'd take that uh, halfling card in exchange for uh, one treasure. Uh, I'll take it for one treasure. I'll take it for my balloons back. Um, no, I'll give. Uh, I'll give you uh, a cursed card for it. All right. There you go. Right, I am now a. Halfling wizard. Okay, uh, your turn. No, my turn now. Wait, you know what would be funny? What? If I went, if I went and really got that one. Level eight ghoul fiends. Okay, the ghoul fiends is the monster that I have to fight now. Uh, no items or other bonuses help against them. Fight with your level only. Oh goodness. How oh, goodness. No items or other bonuses. Level eight. I don't have enough. Uh, I'm only at two, so I need to try to use my fighting spell from the wizard to uh, charm him. So I need to. Oh, to do that, I have to. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, no, I'm going to use the flight spell. I'm going to try to run away. And I got a five. So I get to run away, because if you get a five or a six, you get to run away. Woo! Or a four for me. Yeah. And now I'm going to... Um, Take another card? Um, I'm going to trade in some stuff to level up. Because if you play it... Some of these cards have gold piece uh, values. This one, the knee pads of Allure, have, are worth 600 gold pieces. Because I'm a halfling, um, that I can double the price of it when I sell. So I'm going to trade it in for 1,200 gold pieces, which is greater than 1,000, and I get to move up a level. Your turn. Mm -hmm. so level 4 Leprechaun. He's gross. Gross. 5 against elves. Bad stuff. He takes two items 
from you. One chosen by player on <coughs> either side of you. <coughs> and he gives you two treasures and no levels. At mm. one level. Mm. Alright, well. So let's see. So he's so, plus five. He, he's a level five because you, you're part elf, so he counts as level five, right? Counts as a level nine. Oh, plus five. Oh, he counts as level. This happened again. That's just like the last Wait, time. So let's see. So I have four. And then I. Oh, but I don't have those balloons anymore. So you better so, try to run away. Oh, Five. You get to Six. run away. Okay. Wait, so I get an extra one because I'm an elf because of those cards. Mm -hmm. Alright, my turn. A level 12 tongue demon is the monster. Level 12. It's a creature from hell, plus 4 against clerics. You must discard one item of your choice before combat. Wait, so is, that only I, for, is that only for clerics, or is that for everybody? I guess it's for everybody. So if I was to help you, I'd have to get rid of one of my items, still? I don't think so. Okay. Alright, uh, so I, I think this applies to me. I think I have to get rid of an item. Uh, one item, your choice before combat. Does that mean an item that's down here, or something in my hand? I guess it means something that's down here. Um, so Just gonna I'll, I'll get, get rid, rid of, of the. I'll get rid of the spiky knees. So now I'm at, I'm at level three plus two is five plus one is six level six, and that is a level twelve. Mm. Let's see my comment. Um, looks like I'm gonna have, to, have to play balloon. my. You have to balloons, and then I'd help. I'm going to have to play my uh, doppelganger card, which temporarily doubles me and therefore doubles my combat strength. So that takes me from a 6 to a 12. So I'm still tied, I'm not enough to beat him. But now I'll play my pretty balloons, which will distract him and give me plus 5. So I'm all the way at a level 17, and I get to beat her. So I go up a level, and I get three treasures. One, two, three. All right. My turn. And of the treasures I got, I'm going to be I'm going to put down my plus three wizard's hat. It's wearable only by wizards. Ah, but because it's headgear, I can't wear my spiky helmet, my, my helmet. Let's turn that inactive. I'll um, give you something for it. I'll give uh, you something for that helmet. Let's see. Um, I'll give you the, the dwarf card for that helmet. Uh, the, um... No thanks, I'm not going to do that deal. The dwarf card and this bonus mm. thing for you. The broadsword, how, how valuable is it? 400 gold pieces and it's three, and only you can use it. Okay, I'll do it. And the dwarf, or just the broadsword? Dwarf and the broadsword. Yeah. Right. So it gives me three. Yes. So now I've got that, and I... This inactive boots there, and I'll inactive that. Okay. Um, My turn? Yeah. Alright, so. Plus one bonus. Helm of Courage. Headgear. I have no headgear. Oh, uh, you just got the headgear from me. Oh, I have that. So you can't have two headgears at once, there, so you can put that turn to the side when you have it inactive. Okay. Wait, wait. Uh, so I need to look the room? Oh, that's the wrong card. Huh? These are treasures. Oh. Oh. oh, this was a treasure card, too. Okay. Uh, let's get next to Because we. There we go. Okay. Alright, so now I take now two cards. Right. Yeah. Level 2 Undead Mr. Bones. You must flee. You lose a level even if you escape. Bad stuff. Bone, bony touch. Cost costs you two levels. 
Luckily, he's only a level two, and I can beat him easily. Mm -hmm. All right, so you beat him. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So I go up a level. And you get one treasure. And I get one treasure. I get my head gear back. Okay. Uh, my turn. Yes. Knock on the door. Divine intervention. You must play this card as soon as you get it. All clerics immediately go up a level. This can be uh, this can be the winning level. If this card makes you win, you are entitled to mock all the other players mercilessly. Um, okay, well, I am I have to play it immediately. I am not a cleric, so it has no effect on me. Uh, which means, since I didn't get a monster, I can loot the room. So I take another one of these. And I'll use my turn. Okay, right. go ahead. Yep. Curse. Lose the level. That's it. So you lose that level. That was a hard fought level that you just lost. Wandering monster card. Okay, hold on to that. Mm -hmm. My turn. Knock on the door. Ah, oh, I got a dwarf card. <laughs> I just gave you one of those. Um. Okay. Um, I am going to switch my race from Halfling to Dwarf, which will allow me to carry this big item. Uh, and Wait, so how many levels do you have? Yeah. Now I am at level 4 plus combat power 3, so that's 7, okay. 10, uh -huh. 12, I don't have a strong 15, enough 15. Okay, your turn. Oh, no, wait. Uh, now I get to... Uh, well, no, I just got that curse. Right? Um, no, then it was my turn, so I pulled the dwarf card. Oh, right. right? Okay. So I... Yeah, so now I get to... The, the mate card. Another monster appears... Of, another monster appears of the same level and with the same monster enhancers. If the monsters are defeated, draw treasure for each. Oh, this is the card I can play with. Okay. My turn? Yes. So, level one, drooling slime, one treasure. Plus four against elves. It is a level five. And I'm level one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Beat it. Alright, so you get one treasure. I'm going to go up again. See. Bonus five. Un unusable oh usable by wizard only. Staff of Napalm. One hand. Eight hundred gold pieces. It's usable by wizards only. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna get these two. Yeah. And I'm gonna trade them in. Mm -hmm. Go up a level. Good. All right. Well, I already drew this card while I was waiting for you. This is level one, the crabs monster. So I think I can beat that because I'm more than level one. So I beat it and I get one treasure. Ooh, and I got the buckle of swashing. See, like a swashbuckler. I got the buckle of swashing. So it's a plus two bonus. My turn. Did I go? Up? Oh, I forgot to move myself up. There. Level ten. Natural. He has no special powers. He's really mad about it. Bad stuff. Screws up the game down by forcing you to let the players, players that players of the highest level, take any one item each from you. Can you beat so him? He's a level ten. Level 10. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What does your what do your warrior and thief powers allow you to do? The thief thief lets me Oh you made this card three cards and each one gives you one bonus. Ah, there you I go. Have, I have three cards, but I don't want to get rid of them. Well, you're going to lose to that monster if you don't get rid of it, too. You can run away. If you, but if you lose her and you're running away, then bad stuff's going to happen. Oh, yeah. 
he's gonna do is let you take one of my cards. And you lose a level. Yeah, but I'd still be tied with him and then he'd win, right? Mm-hmm. Would you help me? Don't worry. No, there's only two of us. I can't help you. I'm not gonna help I'll you. I'll give you a treasure. If you give me all three of his treasure, I'll give you two? No. I think you should trade in your I think you should use your, your warrior power and trade in. I'd still lose. You're at nine, right? Yeah. And he's level ten. And he's level ten. So if you trade in two Then I'd be tied with you'd him. You'd be at eleven. Still... No, no, you're at nine right now. So if you trade in one, you'd be at ten, tied. Trade in the second one, you'd be at eleven. You beat him. I have to trade in three cards. I thought you up to Each. three. You may discard up to three cards. Oh. Just two? Mm-hmm. Okay, so you beat that net troll and you get three treasures. And you go up a level. Alright. Is there anything you want to do before I take my turn? So let's see, I have this. So I am a dwarf too, right? And I have that, because I'm a thief. What are they? I, I can't see. So I got three plus threes from that. So let's see, I have three bomb plus three bombers, not usable by a wizard. Well, you got two sets of armor, so you can only wear one set. I have three sets. No, no. Mm -hmm. So pick which armor you're going to wear. I'm going to wear this one. Then I'm going to trade these ones in. Wait. That's only 600, but I can still use this. Okay. Right? Yeah. So turn those armors inactive until you can use them. I'm just going to put them in there. Well, right. no, you can't have more than six in your hand when you're a dwarf. Okay. Um, what what level am I at right now? Let's see. So I'm five, five. level five. And then what's my combat power? Five, eight, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, eighteen. Okay. I'm going to knock on the door. Level fourteen, stoned golem. You may choose whether to fight this or just wave and walk past uh, and let him keep the treasure. Exception, halflings look tasty and must fight. I am a halfling. No, I'm not a halfling. It's inactive. I'm going to fight him. I'm at level 18. He's level 14. So unless you do something to uh, prevent me from beating him, I'm going to win. I beat him. What are your small items? What are my small items? Mm -hmm. uh, I guess this buckle of swashing and the singing and dancing sword. And if you lose the two, then you still beat him? Yep. I'm not going to do anything. Okay, so I beat him and I get four treasures. One, two, three, four, and I go up one level. Okay, and now I have too many cards in my hand, so I have to get rid of some cards. Well, you can play them if you have armor or something. Right, right, right. right. You Let's can see. just make them an act or something. Let's see. Uh, oh, well, one of them is a go up a level card, so I'm going to play that. Go up a level. Um, my gentleman's club can only be used by males, so it's inactive since I'm a female. And that. Oh, wait. So I have one hand. Wait, what? Ah, uh, no, let's see. I have one. Then two. Alright. Oh, I have one. Yeah, okay. Okay, your turn. Can I attack that for the London Monster Club? Uh, the Gentleman's Club? Mm -hmm. Uh, don't you, um, well, you already have two of your hands full. I know, but I'd get rid of this one because that one does one more. Mm. Uh, I'm not interested in Wandering Monster Club. Mm. Alright, ready? Yes. Knock on the door. I got another one during Monster Card. Okay, so now you want to loot the room? And I got another Elf Class. Okay. Alright! I will 
Uh, first, before I even begin my turn, I will play my steal a level card, stealing a level from you. So I go up one, you go down one. <laughs> I go up a level, you go down a level. And uh, now I will um, knock on the door. Curse! Lose one small item. Oh, but these sandals, these are these these are the most valuable sandals I've ever had. They protected me from all these curses. Now, because I'm too overpowered. Now, because I am so powerful. Let's see, where am I now? I'm at eight, level eight plus three is eleven. You were eighteen. Uh, eight is, uh, is eleven. Fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Uh, wow, twenty-one. I'm at level twenty-one. So, I'm going to go look for trouble. I'm going to fight my level 18 Squidzilla. Squidzilla. Squidzilla, which is slimy. Elves lose four points against it. It will not pursue anyone of level four or below except elves. Bad stuff. You are grabbed, slimed, crushed, gobbled. You are dead, dead, dead. Any questions? All right, well, if I beat him, I go up two levels, which means I can win the game. You won? Uh, is there anything you're going to do to... Prevent me from winning. I'm at level. I'm 21. He's at level 18. He's, he's 18. Well, if I did that, you'd only be. You'd still be one above him. Is there anything that's small that lose that makes you lose three? No. I guess the broadsword. It's small. It doesn't say big, so it's therefore small. Wait, no, you have the boots! No, the boots don't protect, the boots only protect me against curses I pull up from here. But this is a curse. Oh, yes! Yeah. What does it say? It says curse, lose one small item. Choose one small item to discard any, any item that is not discarded. I mean... Any item that's not big. But, yeah. but who chooses, me or you? Three that I can choose. Uh, well, can I see what the card says? It says choose one small item. I think that means that I get to pick. No. But play the play the curse. I'll play my wishing ring, which cancels the curse. Oh. Cancelled the curse. So curse is then cancelled. I beat the guy four treasures, two levels. No. Nah. And the 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 female dwarf wizard wins. Well, that was a game of Munchkin. Um, I think normally it would be a little bit different if we had three or more players. It would be a little bit different if we had three or more players because it would be more backstabbing and interplay and certain players would help other players out and other players would hurt each other. But that's the game.